Maybe you're feeling that summer slump and looking for ideas of how you can pull your Etsy shop out of that summer slump and make some sales. Or perhaps you're looking for a little information about how to have successful group listings. Either way, stick around because you're in the right spot. This video is part of our summer series and we are going to be talking about a niche that you can put in your shop to help build your shop up in a way that it can make consistent sales over the summer. If you already have an Etsy shop connected with a POD company or whether you're thinking about it, this was a great video for you to watch. We're also gonna be talking about a group niche and don't forget to stick around to the very end of the video because then I'm gonna switch gears a little bit and focus on a very effective way to structure your group listing. So the niche we're gonna be talking about in this video is girls trips. Girls trips can be an evergreen niche because girls can take trips at any time, but they do best over the summer. And this can have a connection with bachelorette. So if you're in that niche or looking to get into that niche, this is kind of a sister niche to that. Actually, before we hop into it, I am making some girls trip shirts for our family vacation because the only boys in our family vacation, besides my little dog Tucker, are my dad and my brother. Everyone else is girls, my sister-in-law, my best friend, myself, and my three nieces. So over the years, I have made group shirts that are girl, kind of girl trip or girl activity shirts for us. So this is a great niche to be in. You don't always just, you don't always have to think just girl trip. So for example, my nieces love to ride in the Jeep with me. So over the years, we've had a couple of shirts that we've made that are our Jeep girl gang shirts. Now I do not suggest putting that niche in your shop because that is trademarked and you will get uh, infringements on that and you could get your shop shut down. So I do not suggest that. But that is just the tip of the iceberg when thinking about activities that girls might do together where they might want to wear a shirt while doing that activity together. And just to give an idea of how you can make something creative, the shirt I'm wearing right now is actually next level tank top. I, I, I use Primful and so I got this one from Primful. But you can see it kind of looks like the Jeep grill but it's got salty sole on it, which might be trademarked also. This used to be something I had in my shop when I was doing everything wrong and didn't realize about trademarks. Not in my shop anymore, but it was a really kind of fun way to do something really unique. And I took that Jeep grill and made it beachy. You can kind of apply that concept to whatever niche you're working with. How can you make that niche beachy? Or maybe help you brainstorm ways to have a different look on something and make it a little different. So that means one way to make these designs really unique is by going with a specific activity. We can also go with a specific destination. In this video, we're gonna be creating some t-shirts for the family trip for the Keys since that's where we're going to be. And we're going to be using Kittle to create a really quick design where each of us ladies will get to wear a different phrase on our shirt. Now don't forget to stick around to the end because I'll show you how I would set this up in my shop. Now this isn't a niche that I'm really into. This niche and family vacation niche. These are both great niches to, to build your shop up for the summer. And if I could clone myself and have more time to work on designs, these are two places that I would certainly consider adding to my shop so that I could have more summer sales. Here we are on Kittle and I opened a new project and now I'm going to that second icon, Templates. I already have t-shirts up here in that first drop down menu selected since we're gonna be putting this design on a t-shirt. Now we'll go ahead and let's write keys in here. Okay, not a lot of templates with that keyword. Let's try Florida. Ooh, I love this, I love this siesta key one. If you're not familiar with the keys, that's not actually in the keys. That's more like Central Florida. And that image isn't really keysy. You don't have a lot of lifeguard towers like that in the keys on sandy beaches. So that one's not going to work so good. Let's look at vacation. Ooh, I like this one. That design does work really well for a keys design. Ooh, that one's pretty too. Remember, we're doing girls vacation though. And I like, like even this colorful one here. I love this. But it's got a little surfer guy and we're doing girls trip. So 
not the best design for what we're looking at. I really like this design. That looks very cheesy to me. Some more great designs here to choose from. This is the part that is often my favorite part, just looking through all these templates. Just remember, you don't want to take something just as it is and put it in your shop. Other people could do that. It's probably not going to be super unique. And it's probably not going to work as well. Like You should be starting with the niche that you're working in and bringing stuff to it. Not starting with images and trying to bring it back and go, okay, well, I'm going to work in this niche now. So I'm going to go back up to this, to this design here. And we're going to put that in our canvas here. And we're going to make this work for, it's not going to be a Miami shirt. It's going to be a Keys shirt. Now I've gone into layers. It's got a white background. And we don't want that. So I'm going into background and I can take the opacity and just take it to 0%. We want to take that opacity and just make it disappear. So I can come in here and do that or I could have just written a zero in that little box. And now when you have that checkered, like that checkered back gray background, you know that you are with a transparent background, which is what we want. We are going to make a really unique design out of this. First, we're going to go to Miami. Let's make it say keys. All I did was double click that and it just leaves it placed right where it is. So easy. I'm planning on putting this on a black shirt. So let's go ahead and change the color. Take a look here where it says text color. I was so frustrated the other day because I could not figure out how to change the color. Notice that I clicked on the second little dot there and this is the shadow color. And as I go through these different colors in, in our design, our document colors here, nothing's happening to the word keys. That's because I'm sh changing a shadow that I can't even see on it right here. So I'm going to click on this little dot and now that says fill color. Now we're going to be able to change the color of the word keys. Took me a minute to figure this out the other day, so I wanted to point it out to you. I am putting it on a black shirt. So I just want to make sure that I'm using a font, uh, a color that is going to show up nicely on that black shirt. Let's just kind of play with these for a second. I think I might go with this. And now instead of Florida, I just double clicked this. I'm going to write girls trip. And when I click away, it goes right back to where it was positioned in this template. That just makes it so nice and easy to design something cool here. Now we want to go ahead and make sure we have the right information. I looked up the latitude and longitude of the key that we're going to be in. And I'm just kind of positioning things around just a little bit. And we're just going through now and I'm selecting each of these text boxes and changing the text color. Again, keeping in mind that I do want to put this on a black shirt, so I don't want any dark lettering. So we'll see how this looks. Now, bringing in an element like this to our design could be game changer, especially if we're trying to break into a new niche. Our designs could go friends trip, like friends girl trip, or they could go kind of a bachelorette vibe to them. Keys, Key West specifically is a popular destination for bachelor and bachelorette parties. So since we already have this really niched down to a specific location, adding this type of personalization to it where each person could wear kind of something fun on their shirt, a phrase, that could be game changer in breaking into this. Now a lot of the designs in this niche already are just simple text-based designs. So this is going to really add a different element to that. And it's also market research. We know there's a lot of bestsellers that look like these, that are these types of options on shirts. So we know that people like being able to choose these types of options. This is a really cool way to offer something different because ours is going to look so different. Don't forget to stick around to the very end so you can see how I would set up a listing that has options like this in my shop. All right, let's jump back on Kittle and finish this up. But before we do, if you wouldn't mind smashing that like button if you're enjoying content like this and you're enjoying design videos. And if you're not already a subscriber and you don't wanna miss the next video coming out in the summer series, then don't forget to smash that subscribe button. All right, let's do it. 
I'm going to go ahead and add a text box. So we're going to do add headline. And I'm going to put in here, I'll bring the, and I think I'm going to do, I'll bring the bail money. This one's going to be for my mom, since she's the most responsible out of all of us ladies. And I think she'll get a kick out of that. So I'm going to kind of just pull this up here. I just clicked on it and I can move it around with my cursor. And now notice I'm going to drag this down. I've got to like kind of pull this window down here. That gets me to some more tools. And I'm going to go transformations and I'm clicking the circle one. So what I need to do in order to work with this easily is go into my layers because I'll accidentally keep grabbing other pieces of the design and I'm just going through and locking the layers. There is honestly probably a way to do this all at once, but I'm already halfway here now. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and just lock them all up and that way every time I'm clicking on that text, I'll be able to quickly grab it and work with it. Now I'm going to mess around with the position of this and I'm just using that little circular thing to kind of turn it and I'm going to mess with it a little bit more. It's too long because it's going into the trees there. So I'm going right here to this number that I can manipulate the size of it with in our text settings. And I'm liking this more. And you just got to play with it for a minute. Um, I'm going to kind of go back and forth just to make sure it's lined up just right with the circle underneath it, the sunset underneath it. I want it to look even on both sides, like under the word money and under the word aisle. So on each side, so I'm gonna mess with that for a second until I have it the way I really like it. And when I go in to do each of these, I'll bring the bail money and each of the other phrases that I'm gonna do for my nieces, for myself, my best friend, my sister-in-law, and my mom. All I have to do is double click this and change the wording and it'll already be set up and lined up nicely for me. And now we can mess with the color. I think I'm going to go with pink on this one. And it would be nice if we could see what this looks like on a black background. So if we go into layers, we're going to be able to make the background black. And actually, before we do that, I'm just going to quickly go in and change the colors of my bottom text here. I'm wanting to pull in one of the other colors. I'm thinking this blue. So we'll see what it looks like on the black background in a second. I make our final decisions. I had to unlock that text in order to work with it. Back to layers and I just clicked on backgrounds and now I can change the color of the background. So I'm actually going to click over here on the little dot. There we go. And that's like a dark blue. And I think this one here is black. There we go. Notice how we kind of lose the palm tree a bit. It's hard to see. So I'm going to try to put a little shadow on it. Now remember, we locked all the layers. So you, you have to unlock any layer that you are working with. So in order to work with that palm tree, I will need to unlock it. I'll actually go ahead and unlock most of this. Now I can select my palm tree. This is the one I want. I have the object color, but then I have the border weight. And this is where I can make the border weight bigger or smaller, but we're gonna change, we're gonna put a color on it so you can see what I'm doing. Let's try that color. And now when I slide this scale over, I start to get a border. And I like that size. But I feel like since that border goes all the way down into the design, I need to make this little palm tree match. I'm not sure if you could see it as well on your screen. And I'm also thinking while I'm at it, I'm going to go in and do that little island because it kind of goes over to the side out of the sunset. I'm using my layers to select the right thing. I just selected the wrong thing. If you saw that umbrella, it got like a really thick line on it. So let's try this one here. There we go. So now I've got the island with a little bit of an outline on it. I think I'm liking that. And now let's grab this cloud. I already unlocked it, so I was able to just select it. And here we're gonna mess with the border weight. Uh, 
doesn't make a huge big difference, but I'll go ahead and leave that. You can kind of see the cloud come off of the sunset and kind of go under the E there. Now we would have something very different to put in our shops. And all of the decisions that I made going into this were based on market research. And I'll show you some of the listings that went into that market research. You'll see that my listing looks nothing like the listings that I'm showing you here, but they all fueled my understanding that, hey, girls' trips are selling well. They're selling well right now. These are some of the elements that could do well on a on a girl's trip shirt. You really always wanna validate the market before working in that niche to make sure you're not spinning your wheels in a place where there's no demand. So we could see by these listings, and there were many others when I was doing the research, this is a, a niche in demand. Now for the pro tip that I promised you, you won't be sorry you stuck around. Here you see the primary color is what this first drop down menu is offering. A couple things here. First of all, most people clicking into this listing are going to be either ordering the white shirt or the pink shirt. And this one's more of a bachelorette one, so the bride's gonna be expecting to get the white shirt and the bachelorettes are gonna be expecting to get the pink shirt. You only get two drop down menus. So this drop down menu was for primary color and this is not how I would use it. I'll show you how I'll use it in a second. The second drop down menu here is for size. So I would do that. One of your drop down menus needs to be for size. Here they have the personalization area where someone can tell them what phrase they want on the shirt. None of this is going to be automated. Every single time this seller sells from this listing, they're going to have to put it together themselves. And there's nothing wrong with that. You can absolutely set it up that way. But my goal was to set up listings like this with as much automation as possible. So instead, I'm gonna show you how we could set this up. So here we have the shirt size still on the top. And this time the shirt text is the second drop down menu. Again, you only get two drop down menus, so you really want to use those carefully if you want this to be automated. So here I'll bring the bling, I'll bring the alcohol, I'll bring the alibi, and then all the way at the bottom you have a custom option. Now I personally like to have at least 15 options for people to choose from, and I do a lot of research in whatever niche I'm working in to know what the going phrases are, what types of things people are going to want in their shirts because I want as many people to choose from the drop down menu as possible rather than hitting that custom one but I do always put the custom as an option. If they do choose custom, then you have to make sure that you have personalization toggled over in your listing so that this pops up. Add your personalization. And you can put some directions there and they can go ahead and put the personalization that they want for that shirt. So I head on over to Printful and I click on the dashboard and then I click on orders. Here I've already clicked into the order and I'm going to the bottom of the order where it says complete order. And now I'm inside the order. You could see the very last product there is already synced. I've sold from this listing before that size and that phrase already sold and I sync it. The top three have not yet been synced. So those are the three I need to sync in order to put this order through. So I'm just going to click the little sync product button underneath. And that takes me here. I always click on women's clothing and then t-shirts. I could also click on men's clothing as a unisex shirt. This is the one I'm using, the Gildan. And now I'm gonna make sure that it's on DTG printing. If it's on embroidery, it's not gonna be any good for me. I need to make sure it's on that. I'm clicking on black because this listing is for a black shirt. This size was small. This customer wanted a small shirt. And all that's left to do now is to double click, drop your design here, and that will get me to my file library where I've saved all my designs and I can sync it up. Now, if I were doing bachelorette shirts with this type of way, we're just showing you that I put it in my shop, I would only have one color available 
And if it were the bachelorette ones, you're probably going to have a white shirt in your mock-up photo with a different color for the bachelorettes. So in that case, you really have two shirts available, two colors available, but you just make it really obvious in your listing photos and you write it in your listing photos, in the photos, not just the description. You make it clear that the bride shirt will be on white and the bachelorette shirts will be on that other color that you're showing. That would be the best way if you want to keep it automated. Because remember, you only get two drop-down menus. So you want to use one of them for size, one of them for the phrase, and so you can't give them a choice on color. Now, of course, when they choose that custom phrase, you have to do that one up. That's not going to be automated, but it'll be giving you a great idea for other phrases that you could add to the drop-down menu. It often is a way that you can start getting those initial sales as well. So if someone doesn't see the exact phrase they want, they'll be able to custom that with you. I use Printful, so I'm able to sync as I go. And that means each time that I sync a size with a phrase, then the next time that size and that phrase are ordered, I don't have to sync it anymore. So I might get an order with six shirts and four of them are already all sync up because they've been ordered before. And so maybe I only have to sync up two of them. After a couple of orders, if you do get one of these listings to take off after a couple of orders, you wind up with a lot of the most popular phrases all synced up in your shop. If you do find yourself wanting to try out Printful, I do have them linked down in the description below. I can't wait to give the girls their shirts for our family vacation, and I will be sure to share with you how that goes. And I will see you in the next video, but not before this tip from Tucker. Tucker, take it away.